Hello everybody, today is Tuesday, May 3rd. It's one minute before the regular session close. For the futures and financial markets, it's 3.59 p.m. and about 25 seconds less left to the close. Uh, you can see the time and sales in the middle of the chart here. And I'm going to bring up my computer clock here and we're probably hear the closing bell any moment. Okay, we had a pretty decent day with the auto trader today. Uh, before I begin you before I begin first the required disclaimer. Okay, first up is the 30 year treasury bond and on the uh, Superinco 2 tick, and this is using our line break algorithm. And this hit its goal of 1500 for the day. And it didn't have a lot of trades, only about four or five trades. So pretty good performance here. These charts are only going back 10 days, but I had some requests to show back tests and back tests and NinjaTrader are not totally accurate, although uh, using limit orders does bring some reality to them. Okay, next up is the gold contract. This is also using the uh, BWT line break logic. And uh, I think gold has been pretty active lately. This one uh, hit its goal for the day and it looks like it didn't have a losing trade. As you can see, the equity curve, there was no dips. So it looks like we had uh, three winners in a row and then finally hitting its goal in about an hour of trading. Okay, next up is the E-mini S&P on the Superenco 12 tick. This only did 250 today. Okay, next up is the E-mini S&P on a one minute line break chart. And uh, we showed this yesterday and it's been doing pretty well. It, actually had an equity high of uh, about a thousand dollars and then it had this um, losing trade at the end a couple of losers and that brought it down but still finished at 525 on two contracts that's still 10 points in the e-mini S&P okay next up is the crude oil on the seven tick and this is one of our consistent performers that didn't hit its goal today it made a small amount of money, probably just enough to cover commissions as there was quite a few trades. It, it had winners and losers, but nevertheless, uh, probably broke even today after commissions. Usually doesn't trade this much. Okay, next up is the 30-year treasury bond on the Superinco 6 tick, and this is again one of our most consistent performers, and this one was dragged down by this first loser but then recovered with a winner here and a break even at the end still managed two hundred fifty dollars in profits so uh, there was a couple of other insignificant gains you know a hundred dollars or so on the super inco four tick and such that's all for today's video if you'd like to find out more please visit our website or send us an email to systems at bluewavetrading.com. Thanks for watching today.